welcome to the Kitchen and Jorn Show. Welcome, welcome in. I want to talk to you all about some developments in uh, my Hollywood. <laughs> Can you tell that we're really good at, at talking about serious things? Yeah. The best. We're the best, best around. around. And, and we're going to talk about, about your pronouns. <laughs> I'm trying out new pronouns. Right now I'm going by she, they pronouns because that kind of feels the most correct to me right now. I don't know if that will change, but I will talk about that journey. As a thing up front, obviously I'm talking about my specific journey. My journey is not everyone else's journey. Sometimes things don't apply to other people. Yeah. Just, well, we're just talking just, about me. Yeah. I'm a little nervous to talk about this because I know that like, Whenever we talk about gender stuff, I know that like the usual bad actors are gonna be like, it's my time to get attention. I'm just gonna say from the beginning, be respectful, but there are gonna be people in the comments who are gonna be acting up. And like, honestly, I don't really care what you say to them. <laughs> just don't be an asshole. don't be transphobic. And yeah. like, we are gonna be moderating comments hard and our community also holds people accountable. So I think this started, uh, honestly, it started back when Brie came out to me as trans. Yeah. In like May of 2020. And I don't know if this is like true, but anecdotally I've heard that the spouses of people who transition sometimes tend to take a look at their gender. It's not contagious. No. It just, just to be clear, <laughs> it means that like, because we're talking about it a lot, I'm thinking about it in relation to myself. Yeah. Which is like, you know, a natural way that people like evolve. And I remember actually the first time I brought it up to you. I think what you said was if you're having questions about it, it's worth investigating. Yeah, I think that's true. Like if you're thinking about your own gender, you're thinking about how you identify. You don't have to feel like it's a scary thing. You can really just be like, I'm gathering information. I'm just gathering some information about me. I don't think you were very surprised. No. <laughs> I was not very surprised. <laughs> we spend so much time together and, and it's just like. And we have for years. Yeah, and we're like both very fruity. So I was like, I am not surprised that there's some gender questions happening. So I think like one thing that's kind of always sort of stood in my way of being like, of thinking about my gender is like, I'm a fat person. And when you're a fat person, generally you're allowed to be like one thing and that's fat. So like everything else has to be perfect because like I'm a fat person, I definitely was like, I have to perform for immunity. And like, I also like, I liked it too, but it was also like, if I go on camera or if I'm doing something, if I'm taking photos, like I have to do just the whole thing. Because whenever something was wrong about my face or appearance, someone would always have something to say about it. Yeah. Like someone would always be like, her hair looks bad or like her hair's super frizzy or too long. Or like, you can see her bra. I definitely engaged in like just full high feminist for a while um, yeah. because I thought it protected me. And like, I also like it, but I don't... It's like a chicken or the egg thing. Like maybe you... Maybe I like it because I... I, I it's you're used I to it, safe. you've been doing it. it. Yeah, it is like a safe space for you. And you also might just like it, but you also would have maybe explored other looks, other ways of presenting if you had felt like it would have been safe for you to do that. Yeah. Now, I know there are people who don't identify as cisgender, uh, who are not necessarily androgynous or masculine. There are they, thems who are femmes. Gender is very complicated and nuanced. So we're obviously yeah. just talking about me. How I felt my gender presentation would just be best be expressed. But anyway, uh, for me, like femininity was definitely something that I like, I very much hid behind and I tried to perform as best as I could because it kept me safe. Yeah. And not only did it keep me safe, it also gave me opportunities. I know it seems like we, just kind of show up and like make videos and like we don't think about them or plan them out. But like there's a lot that goes into making videos and there's a lot that goes into having a video career. How well do people like you? How much do you relate to them? How much are you aspirational to them? Yeah. And those are all things that like presenting femme, I felt better afforded me. And I even remember there were times when like, we would be talking about fashion or things like that, or like it would come up where I'd be like, have you ever thought like trying to dress a little bit more mask? You gave me an answer that made me think it wasn't that like you didn't think it, you didn't like, you weren't interested in it. It was more just like, you're like, what's the point? Like it felt like the option of exploring like other gender presentations wasn't there for you. I definitely manufactured a version of myself that was true, but it was not like 
the whole truth. It was definitely like a very polished version of the truth. And it was exhausting, honestly. If I didn't have to look camera ready or my idea of what camera ready is, I would make videos every day. If I never worried about what I looked like on camera, my God, you would see my stupid face constantly. And you do, so like, Think about that. The pandemic kind of allowed us to spend a lot of time inside with our yeah. thoughts. I wasn't doing like full dress every day. I wasn't like full regalia. It was like I could do from like here up or like most days, like not even that. Yeah, wear what you wanted. I've shot videos for this channel like in pajamas. <laughs> I sort of realized that like I felt more comfortable and I felt like a little bit more free. And I also just felt more like myself. So fast forward when things start opening back up and I start wearing like big dresses again, like full regalia and like that it feels weird. It feels yeah. wrong. I realized that kind of during the pandemic, I would gotten used to like honestly dressing more like this. Yeah. This is why I'm, I'm I wouldn't usually not wear anything like this on camera. <laughs> This is what I wear when I'm like just- Cool t-shirt, like shorts, hanging little out, hat. Hanging out at the house or like going to a baseball game or like whatever. This is like, you know, just sports. I would never wear a sports bra on camera. Yeah. I always wear push-up bras. That's why my boobs look so good because- and They do look pretty good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they look good right now. I know it seems weird for me to be like, I would never dress on camera like this, but like- You wouldn't have. I really wouldn't. And when I, there are some videos where I am dressed like this and I hate watching them. So like, it doesn't seem like a big deal to you, but it is kind of a big deal to me. Yeah. Because being femme, I feel like it's protected me. And voluntarily relinquishing that protection some of the time, a little bit, is scary. Because I don't, I mean, I'm filming this right now and I feel good, but I might look at the cut later and be like, ah! <laughs> oh, I'm sure. I'm gonna look at this cut later yeah. and be like, why did I make this video? Why did I make this video? It's actually like our hot top song. I know, our the top song. It's songs. the number one song we play in this house is why are we making this video? <laughs> That's not true. We like Just kidding, we like making videos. We like making videos. Hold on, sorry, I'm, I'm stretching. Mm. Okay, ooh, that actually really hurt my neck. So I'm trying out new pronouns. My pronouns are she, they. Uh, they might change. Do you have a preference for she or they? I think I kind of want to hear both yeah. right now. The reason why I'm kind of like she, they is because like there are times where I feel more feminine and there are times when I feel much less feminine. I think of my kind of gender expression as like girl plus. It's like the new streaming service <laughs> by Kitchen and Jor. <laughs> well, we definitely didn't come up with it though. <laughs> Maybe that's like not a good way of looking at gender. I don't know. It's the way I currently look at my gender, that it's like I, I just kind of encompass a lot of things. Yeah. I would like she and they to be used interchangeably. If for some reason you really can't do it and you need to just pick one, don't pick she, her. <laughs> <laughs> pick, pick, they, pick they, them. Would it be accurate to refer to you as like a non-binary person? Um, I don't know. Yet, yeah. there are days where I'll dress more feminine and it'll be like, oh, I'm obviously a girl, this is not a thing. And then there are days where I'll dress more like this and I'll be like, come on. When people say that I'm an attractive person, I'm like, no, I'm not, I don't know what you're talking about. But like when I am a little bit more masked, I kind of get it more, if that makes sense. Is that weird? No, I don't think it's weird. I think our ability to like, also like, respond to the way other people perceive us hinges a lot on our own perception of ourselves. One thing that I think like recently that uh, kind of inspired me style-wise is there's a show on Hulu called Reservation Dogs and there's a character named Willie Jack. And the first time I saw Willie Jack, I was like, oh, that's me. <laughs> She's coded as like, more masculine presenting. She's coded as more masculine presenting. She wears a lot of flannels, a lot of, flannels, a lot of darker colors. She still has like long hair. Yeah. I've lived in the world of describing myself as femme for so long. I can describe like femme styles like that, but yeah. I don't really know how to be like, I'm just like, she wears pants. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I changed this on my Twitter bio a few weeks ago, a month ago, and people were really nice about it. This is a journey. Two months from now, I might be like, news but yeah. you know you guys are here because like this is about our lives as they are ongoing the thing about life unfortunately is that it just keeps going mm -hmm. it just keeps on. it's like you think you're done and there's just more you know i also went through like a period where i was just like maybe i'm actually just like a trans man and then it it'd be like no nah, that doesn't feel right either there were nights where i would wake up brie and i'd be like do you think i'm a trans man and she'd be like no <laughs> I also 
also would like to say that like it's okay for people to like try out pronouns. The thing about the pandemic is uh, we haven't been around a lot of people, and so there haven't really been like a lot of uh, opportunities opportunities to try them out. So you get to be my little uh, pronoun guinea pigs. So have fun with that. <laughs> Yeah, have fun running on your wheels and eating your little nipples. And being and adorable, having yeah. these little ears that just go And only living for six years. <laughs> I feel like I'm letting go of something that I don't enjoy all the time because I don't feel like I need it to protect me anymore. That is to say, on this channel, you'll probably still see lots of videos where I'm like, yeah, I'm a full regalia, here's my makeup, and my hair is big. Like, you'll probably still see videos like that because like, just because I was comfortable doing this one time doesn't mean, like I'm not gonna be able to like flip a switch. <laughs> I also just don't have the wardrobe. What happened was I bought a lot of exercise clothes and then I was like, why don't I just wear those as my clothes? Look cute. Those are the clothes I want to wear. So crazy, it just might, might work. work. And anyway, that's my story. Uh, I'm gonna uh, roll it on over to Jen. Hi. Yeah, I feel like for the past year I've been on a similar journey to Kristen, just figuring out some gender stuff, what feels right, what doesn't. When people look at me, sometimes they're like, what's going on there? Like, girl boy, huh? And like, I kind of realized like, I don't really have a problem with that. I lately have been sort of thinking about Am I, you know, a woman? And the answer I sort of have come to is that like, yeah, but also, Aah. there's a line in the movie, The Aristocats, where one of the brother kittens is really mad at the sister kitten. And so he's yelling at her and he goes, you're not a lady, you're nothing but a sister. And that is kind of what I feel like my gender is <laughs> a little bit, where it's like, I don't know if I'm a lady, but like I'm someone's little sister and they're gonna buy me dinner. <laughs> I use she, her pronouns, and I also use they, them pronouns, and I'm kind of trying out uh, they, them pronouns for now. If somebody were to be like, do you think you're non-binary? I would say that's probably accurate. It's like woman, sure, yeah, you know, in certain contexts, but mostly just like a person just kind of bopping around, and I'm so sexy, and <laughs> what it is about that Can we is what's important is that we're very sexy. We're, we, the most important thing is that we're very, very sexy. sexy. Our gender is very, very sexy. sexy. We're VS. We're VS. For me, like when I say this stuff about my gender, what I kind of just want to communicate to everybody is like, I feel very chill like about all of this. I know I'm very privileged and very lucky to feel that way where it's like figuring out my gender is doesn't really feel fraught to me. And mostly I think I'm just talking to my family members watching this, but just like, don't worry about it, y'all. Like if you have questions, you can text me, but like, I'm still gonna be the same person. A favorite joke of mine was anytime I had to like go to the bathroom, I'd be like, ugh, a woman's work is never done. And I still make that joke a lot, but now sometimes I'm like, ugh, a she they's work is never done. So we say that actually all the we time. We do say a she they's work is never done. I and know. like, we know that like calling someone a she they is like not an identity. We're just doing a bit, we're, we're being funny. We're we, talking about ourselves. We're talking about ourselves. A she they's work is never, never done. done. Wherever I end up on this journey, I was like, I am Jen. Like I am Jennifer, mm -hmm. and I know that that's who I am. What's your gender? Yeah. Or, oh, hey. 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 Hi, Brie. Mm, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Brie loves doing that. Chris them, genderfer. <laughs> you are so cute. It should be illegal. Honestly, mm. like you make you make gender exploration fun. Mm, so do you. Okay. The thing about Brie is that I this. Oh my God. Your gender is not being able to drink I water. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> I wanted to like bring in Brie, because Brie I feel like is, is sort of the catalyst to this. I've been hearing a lot about it. What are your insights in my gender? I think that to a degree, you kind of talked yourself into being a power femme. And while there is definitely a femme side to you, there's also a side that enjoys dressing like the icebox from Little Giants. <laughs> I think that like giving yourself the, the, the room to explore how you want to define yourself rather than feeling like a definition has been forced upon you. Mm -hmm. I think that's really Sorry. good and important. Thank you. So anyway, eat turfs. We will kick your in Nintendo. In Fortnite. I will send horrible vibes out into the world. Okay. I will think really mean thoughts. I'll, I'll your mom. <laughs> Consensually. Consensually. Yeah. I will seduce your mother. I will seduce your mother and then you'll find out about it at your parents' anniversary party. Yeah. Your other siblings call Jen dad now. Now you gotta deal with me at holidays and I eat a lot of ham. <laughs> Thanks everybody uh, for listening to us. Don't be Yeah, respect our pronouns, please. Respect everyone's pronouns. Be yeah. nice in the comments. Don't be a turf. Yeah, anyway. We're so sexy. We're so sexy. Bye, Bye. what Bye. sexy things do you want to see us do next?
<laughs> oh, I mean, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, so obviously this is a little PS of Kristen and Mai's pronoun video. We wanted to add this on because we wanted to do a little shout out to our friend Lee. If some of you have been following us for a while or if you used to follow BuzzFeed, BuzzFeed used to have a series called Queer Prom. Lee was one of the young people featured on that series and now he's currently raising funds for his top surgery. The link is in our description box. It's also right here on the screen. Very cool, very cool. Please, 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 if you have the funds, please check out the link. Please give him a donation. It would be honestly just like, it would be a nice thing to do. So please donate to our friend. This is really important to us. That's why we're putting it in our video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, thanks everybody. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we, we love you all. Bye. Bye.